Good day once again everybody, uh, you're welcome to another edition of Earl of Ronata. As I started yesterday, still talking about uh, the church in Pergamos on our Revelation series, still on the signs of the end time. I'd like us to pray together before we continue. Father, in the name of Jesus, open the eyes of the understanding of those people and let them understand your word perfectly well in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now yesterday we discussed uh, Revelation chapter 2 verses um, 13. Uh, verses 14 and the 15 and I'm simple to be emphasizing it to be on it You see what are the errors found in this place in the verse 14 said, but I have a few things against thee because thou Ask them that hold the doctrine of the of Balaam and who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel It says uh, and again it says some of them still hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans What are these doctrine all about? You know the doctrine is said here they, you know, they preach heresies They preached errors They preached things that are not right for the sake of money That was just the life of Balak You know they preach heresy for the sake of money And they pamper sin to retain their rich sinners so that they will not believe Let us look at some things in the uh, Second Peter, chapter two, verses one to three. Second Peter, chapter two. Second Peter, chapter two. I read from the first verse of it. It said, "But there were false prophets." Also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresy, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. That is the end of verse 2. It said, And many shall follow their pernicious way, by the reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Verse 3, it said, And though covetousness shall they with vain word and, and through covetousness shall they with vain word make merchandise of you who whose judgment now for a long time lingereth not that and their damnation slumbereth not what is he talking about here they are preaching heresy for the sake of money pampering sin to retain the rich sinners those who are sinners among them that are doing evil because they are rich you know they pamper them and they retain them and what is he talking about a sword of anger from god confronted uh confronted uh Balaam himself from the scripture he did not survive it if you want to get understanding of what happened very well to Balaam check from numbers chapter 23 you know down then check chapter 31 and check the verse 8 how Balaam eventually faced his death look at the verse 12 of that same second Peter 2 we we're reading look at what he said there he said but this as natural brute beast made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption this is what the lord is saying concerning the the church that has allowed evil that has mingled the word of god with uh, unrighteousness he said their evil shall come upon them they shall die in their corruption and look at what he said also in jude verse 10 he said here in verse 10 of jude he said but this speak this speak evil of those things which they know not which they know not but what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves in answer the verse 11 said woe unto them except for they have gone in the way of Cain and have run greedily after the error of Balaam for reward and perish in the gate saying of Korah you see what he's talking about here he's still talking about Balaam all the doctrines of Balaam that is found in the midst of the church in Pagamos but unfortunately the pastor was so carefree about it you know but when the letter was written it was sent to the pastor the angel of the church in Pagamos he was so carefree about it but he will not be he will not escape when the vengeance of God comes. Look at what the Lord said here, the warning he gave them in the verse 16. He said, Repent, or else I will come unto you quickly 
and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. Just the same way as Balaam never escaped the sword of the Israelites when the, when the vengeance time was come upon him, when the Lord was ready to take vengeance for his evil upon him. He never escaped the sword. It's, the Lord is saying here also that because they have kept, they have held the doctrine of Balaam and they've run after the evil, you know, of uh, 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 the Nicolaitans. It says, so they also will not escape it. The sword of the Lord is coming upon them. Then I'm going to read for, for you uh, Numbers chapter 31 verse 8 and see how Balaam faced the end of his life. Verse 8 it said, And they slew the kings of the Midianites beside the rest of them that were slain, namely Avi, Rekem, and Zor, and Hor, and Reba, five kings of Midian. Balaam also, the son of Baal, they slew with the sword. That is a repercussion that comes on those who teach heresy. The sword of the Lord is going to land on them and they're going to get their destruction. Talking about the church in Pergamon. The Lord said he's going to descend upon them. And finally, he said he's not also, he's not just referring to the church in Pergamon in the Asia Minor. He's referring to everyone. As many as can hear him now that has ear, that can hear and understand. Verse 17, he said, He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that of a comet will I give to it of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the stone a new name written which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it this is the message of the Lord Jesus to the church in Pergamos this brings us to the end of the church in Pergamos they will be continuing same time tomorrow on the church in Theatira so I, uh, I pray the Lord will uphold and strengthen us in Jesus name can we pray together Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for your people, Lord, I pray. The understanding of your word, grant them in Jesus' name. Your word, let it find a place to dwell in their hearts in the name of Jesus. Be glorified and be a Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. Meet you sometime tomorrow. He's a wonder. He's a wonder. In my soul. He's a wonder. He's a mighty God. Hope you enjoyed the program. Join us sometime for another episode of Hell of Mother. For more information, you can contact us on our mobile or email. If you decide in the case of scaling in half, you can join us on our site as shown in the screen. Thank you for your attention.